Pups at School: The Adventures of Ham and Cheese, written by Giselle Alonzo, narrated by Ali James. Chapter One: Backpacks and Butterflies. I can't believe we're starting sixth grade in just two days, Ham. Cheese exclaimed as she organized her backpack for the tenth time today. I nodded, trying to muster some excitement. Yeah, it's hard to believe, I mumbled. What I can't believe is that mom isn't going to homeschool us anymore. I'm really going to miss it. I sighed, feeling a mix of nerves and concern. Cheese looked up, her eyes shining with anticipation. Oh, Ham, you have to look on the bright side. Think about all the new things we're going to experience. Riding the bus, eating lunch with new friends, and even reading stories to the class. Her enthusiasm bubbled over as she jumped up and down, clutching her books to her chest. I see you're excited, Cheese, I said, giving her a small smile as I walked out of her room. It wasn't that I thought school would be bad for us, but a weird feeling churned in my belly. Cheese and I are twins. We've always been inseparable, doing everything together. I'm the cool pup, the smart one. But deep down, I worried. What if Cheese found out I wasn't as fun as she thought? What if she didn't want to hang out with me anymore? With a heavy heart, I gave her one last glance before softly closing the door behind me. Chapter 2 New Friends, New Adventures Cheese, the bus is here! I tried to warn her, but she dashed past me, her tail wagging so fiercely it almost knocked me over. Hey, watch out! I yelled, only to see her turn around and stick her tongue out at me. Yep, it had started. I trudged towards the big yellow monster that would carry us to an even bigger monster, school. Was I being overly dramatic? Absolutely not. These were perfectly normal thoughts, ones I vowed to keep to myself forever. As I stepped onto the bus, the aisle seemed to stretch endlessly before me like a long, narrow corridor. For a moment, I lost sight of cheese. Around me, dogs, cats, and even a bird with a formidable beak stared as I scanned the seats for my sister. Why were they all looking at me? Could they hear my heart pounding? That thought lingered as I finally spotted a white-gloved paw waving from the back of the bus. Over here, Ham! Cheese called out, her grin wide and welcoming. The bus ride felt like a roller coaster. We crawled along at a snail's pace one moment, then rocketed forward the next. What's wrong with the road? Why is it so bumpy? I asked Cheese. Oh, calm down, brother. You're being a scaredy cat. The bus is fine. Cheese reassured me, then flicked my ear playfully. Stop worrying about everything. Remember, we went to Hawaii alone and you weren't nearly this nervous. You're going to be fine. Here, listen to this. It's relaxing, she said, handing me one of her AirPods as she settled back, looking utterly serene. I hesitantly put the AirPod in my ear, ready for relaxation, but was met with the loudest rock music I had ever heard. You really do have issues, Cheese. Nope, she retorted with a smirk. I just have good taste. Try to relax. We're almost there. Chapter 3 When School's Not Cool Wow, the school is big, I murmured, a bit awed as we approached the entrance. And so pretty! Cheese added, her eyes sparkling as she admired the large building. I had to admit, the school did look welcoming, and everyone around us seemed… happy? Maybe this wouldn't be so bad after all. At that moment, I decided to be brave, like I always am, and give this school a chance. As Cheese and I picked up our class schedules, we realized we only had one class together.